morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic for today is from our friend Hungry Traveler. And here it is. Can you make a video about anxiety at work, please? So how to deal with anxiety at work? Look. I am not going to tell you to eat healthy, balanced foods or exercise to overcome anxiety. These are all good for you, but this is some type of a generic advice. I have a different approach on this topic, so keep on watching. My approach is we are going to talk about the root causes of your anxiety. And at the end of this video, you will learn how to deal with anxiety at work. Do you equate yourself with what you do in life? Does your job title define who you are? Here's the thing. When you first meet someone, one of the first questions that they ask you, what do you do? For many of us, our job title defines us. It's how we value one another. It's how we earn respect from people. For example, what would you think of me if I tell you that I am a founder and a CEO of something? Would you change how you value me as a person? If so, that's not right. The truth is I might be a founder and a CEO of something, but a terrible human being. That is a problem, my friends. That is a problem, my friends. We give respect to people based on their profession. As a result, most of us desire to feel special and be respected through our job titles. That's why most people feel worthless without a job. You want to have that label to be able to say, I'm a doctor. I'm a writer. I'm a celebrity. This is who I am. Most people will proudly announce their job title without even you asking for it because they expect to get recognition for it. My friends, your extreme dependency on your job title is where your anxiety stems from. So how do you deal with anxiety at work? Number one, learn how to separate your self-worth from your job. Anxiety means excessive nervousness, fear, and worry. You are so scared to make mistakes. What if you fail that task? What if you don't meet the expectation of your boss to that project that he or she gave you? What does your co-workers think about you? The question is, why do you worry so much about these things that are currently not happening when in fact these are just all in your head? Because you are scared to lose that job. You think that's all you got. That's where you get your value. Friends, don't confuse your personal value with what you do for work. If you fail, in a project at work. It doesn't mean you are a failure. If you leave that job tomorrow, you're still you. Let me give you an example. Regardless of how excellent or incredible you are at your job, according to your boss or people around you, that doesn't mean that you are a great person. It means you have a skill and great at your job, but it doesn't mean that's who you are. Do you see what I'm saying? As long as you think how great you perform your job determines how great of a person you are, you will be in constant anxiety. You have to understand that you are a package of your unique personality, culture, values, morals, and interests. You are not just a doctor. You are not just a customer relationship manager. Being a doctor or being a customer relationship manager is just one of the 20 that you are about. And you know, if someone asks me, what do you do, see? I can even answer the damn thing immediately. Like, this question always catches me off guard. I mean, what am I supposed to say? There is always a delay in the conversation to the point that the person needs to repeat the question again. See, what do you do? The thing is, I don't know where to begin because my job doesn't define me. With or without my job, my values, my morals, my personality remain the same. 
Okay, anyway, I would say something like I support, guide, lead, and help a group of people. And most of the time, it's not enough. They would respond, okay what do you call yourself what is your job title do you need my job title in order for you to understand that i support and help people the way i see it my job title changes every day depending on what people need from me my point is my friends let us not get hung up with the job title number two expand your horizon in life what do i mean by this aside from your job what else do you do okay i get it you spend 60 to 80 hours a week at your job but what do you do in those 80 hours left aside from sleeping do you spend time with your loved one do you do the things that you love do you travel do you find other hobbies oh my friend you don't tell me that you don't have time for other things. If you really want it, you'll find time for it. I have dealt with people who simply don't have a sense of time management skills. But let's start off by going to the basics. How many hours in a day you spent on your phone? Two to three hours, roughly? You can use those hours to pursue what you love and do your hobbies those two to three hours every single day adds up so you don't tell me that you don't have time for other things as we speak or as i make this video right now there are people in this world who have two jobs a single mother or a single father and still, they get to do what they love. Broaden your horizon. Do the things that make you happy and busy at the same time. Don't let your job run your life. Number three, think that your job is just a part of your life. It is not your life. When I was younger, and new to this corporate and tech world, I was one of those people. My world revolves around this job. And just like the most of you, I found myself being anxious about everything. I want everything to be perfect. I spent night and day to do better. I did more than what was asked from me even through the weekends in return i was burnt out i wasn't able to take care of myself i wasn't able to spend time with my loved ones i missed special occasions i wasn't able to do the things that i love i had lost so much time that i could have used for my mental being if i just know this principle of what i'm telling you guys right now well guess what i have a different job now job it's just a job. It's something that we do. Has nothing to do what type of a person we are. Has nothing to do of how we value ourselves. Well, I get it. Your profession is a huge part of who you are. I mean, you should be proud of it, regardless of what it may be. But does it sum up who you are? No. You are much more than that. You are a good person. You are a great friend. You are a lover. You are a husband. You are a mother. You help others. Others. You make people around you happy. You are a son or a daughter. You are great at sports. You love to read. You love outdoor activities. You are a genius at something. You are great at meeting people. Friends, I could go on and on and on and on. Now, I want you to ask yourself, are you really just a doctor? A customer service manager? A receptionist? A CEO? Or are you more than that? Number four, find balance between your job in your life now you understand the three points i want you to keep this in mind once you find your hobby the things that you love to do the time that you're going to spend with your loved ones commit to those schedules do not compromise any of them if you need to go to the gym do it if you are scheduled for your yoga class show up you are doing this for yourself to be a complete insane human being okay there will be times that your boss will call you randomly over the weekends or the times that you don't work usually i get it but that's not all the time and they ask you right if you will be available in 
in a specific date or specific time. It's okay to adjust your schedule and accommodate your job, but it's also okay to say no sometimes. You can say something like, no, I am not available for that day. Sorry, done. It's your life. The thing is, if you do not go to that job today and you tell them that you are not available, the company is still gonna be there tomorrow. And I'm sure they'll be able to find someone to cover your shift for you. Learn how to prioritize and balance your life. And remember this, as long as you believe that every success that you achieve means you are a valuable person, then every failure that you encounter means you are worthless. And that, my friend, you will live with so much anxiety. Thank you so much for your requests, your topics. Comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community. And your topic may be next. Until next time.